The Drew Project is creating a generation of new leaders. One of the programs that we have are scholarships for LGBT youth and allies who really exude Drew's spirit of inclusion. This year we have five different recipients. These students are working really hard in their different communities. They are changing hearts and minds every single day. Kristen is the president of the Gay Straight Alliance that Drew started when he was 17 years old. Drew's legacy at my school was making a place where people of all sexualities and all genders could be accepted regardless of what they identify as. What GSA did for me was help me discover who I was. I identify as a queer individual and, you know, still kind of questioning what exactly my label is. The GSA has grown. We've done youth leadership conferences on a number of different topics ranging from sexuality and gender to religious awareness. Recently, the Seminole High School Gay Straight Alliance, led by Kristen, unveiled a statue in in honor of Drew, and there's a really beautiful plaque. She's done this work in Drew's name and legacy. Well, Alyssa Saleo has a really long track record of advocacy, and she's only 18 years old. Alyssa does remind me of Drew, always rearing and ready to go. I am restless in my advocacy. I believe that there's a responsibility in all of us to be advocates. I came out when I was a freshman, two months after the pool shooting, founded the Laramie Project Project. It felt like the most natural response to it that I could provide as a 16 year old who didn't know too, too much, but I um, knew that I needed to act. She took her thespian background and her knowledge of the Laramie Project, which was the play that was written about Matthew Shepard's murder, and got 49 different theaters, high schools, gay straight alliances, church groups to do the Laramie Project to honor the victims. The type of change that I think Alyssa is making is profound because storytelling really is the crux of this movement. James took on the school board in Maryland. I'm a trans queer guy. In June 2017, I passed the most comprehensive school policy for trans and gender non-conforming students in the country. And I did that through a grassroots organization that I founded called Support FCPS Trans Students. He is the founder and president of His Gay Straight Alliance that currently has 100 members. When I founded my GSA, there was this really strong and beautiful community built. Being a trans student, I'm highly visible and a lot of people know that I'm trans by the way that I look. And that means that there are certain obstacles I've had to overcome, um, like bullying and harassment and judgment from my teachers and peers. When you have a gay straight alliance, that is an affirmation that a student like me um, belongs in school and that there's a place for me, even if it doesn't always feel like it. Austin Hopkins is a pharmaceutical student. He has a very special brand of advocacy that we don't often hear about. I published my research on transgender pharmacotherapy, but it wasn't just about transgender medications. It also explained what it means to be transgender in a way that other medical professionals can understand. I am a drag queen as a hobby and as a way of charity to the community. I help raise money for HIV, but at the same time, I provide education of how does the disease function, not only as a disease, but how it impacts our community. As a pharmacy student, I hope to bridge the gap between patient and provider. He is pairing LGBTQ patients with the doctors they need in order to get the medication that they need, specifically for people with HIV. HIV and people who are transitioning and people who need medication, this work is pivotal. Courtney is the president of her Gay Straight Alliance at Haggerty High School. I came out in sixth grade. I noticed that there was no GSA at my school. I finally just took it upon myself and started it. My GSA did a parent night. It is so important to educate parents. They weren't educated on what gay was, nonetheless what things like pansexual or asexual was. So a lot of times it's not that your parent doesn't accept you, it's that they don't just understand it yet. When polls happened, I had just come out relatively recently to be a part of something and then suddenly have it attacked is really heartbreaking. Seeing Orlando unite like that really just made me see what was possible. Allies are really important to the community. It's important to be united and like know that you have support. When we address the root causes of things from a young age, key word, young age. We can effectively change the culture. There's still a lot more that can be done to improve the lives of members of the LGBT community. The Drew Project is not only empowering young people in the LGBT community, 
but they're also standing up against discrimination and violence. That's why I call it life-saving work. Knowing that there are allies out there, I think is really important for not only my generation, but the upcoming generation as well. We're not just giving away money to students. By giving me the scholarship, any extra time that I have can be spent uh, building community. I was really worried I was gonna have to work through college, and a big thing I wanna do is continue to work with GSAs. Each of these kids has pledged to the Drew Project that they're going to continue the work that they're doing. One of the reasons why we give out the Spirit of Drew scholarships is to create a new generation of LGBTQ leaders. It was so hard to only choose five scholarship recipients this year, so next year we're hoping to give away 20 scholarships. That's $100,000 in honor of Drew.